Right, here we have a pond site, perspective pond site, probably several ponds. If you can see it, this ditch kind of flows from the, the tree line all the way down through here and then goes under the road in that culvert and then all the way down into the lower pond and then spills into the lower field which then enters the creek. So my plan is to put a pond right here, a dam, a dam wall. You don't put a pond, you put a dam wall. And uh, I started digging a test hole with my backhoe there. Uh, looks like there's some rock in it, but it's some pretty good clay too. Uh, the This is going to be a back flood swale. So this swale will fill the pond and the pond will fill into the swale. If you can see the flag lines. And I'm actually going to put the spillway for this pond way over there in the middle of this field and it'll in turn dump into this swale which will then flow out here. Here's the spillway for this swale which will put the water back where it naturally wants to go. So we're trying to hold up the water for a little bit longer and this should be the final swale in this top field here. I have the other three so there's one by the house, one in the middle and one right here next to me. And then there's going to be one more right here where all these flags are. And it will fill the pond. So I'm going to take the topsoil off and see what we're working with. Alright, so here's what it looks like with the topsoil stripped off. You just want to take this topsoil off kind of under where the dam wall is going to be. I like to make a pile behind the dam wall and then a pile all the way up at the top past the water line and then you cut into the sides where the water line is going to be because obviously you don't need grass growing underwater so we take that topsoil and we put it uh, put it around the dam and on the dam so we can actually grow things. Uh, so the next step is to lay it out again. I bulldoze all the flags because you know, they're in the way. So I lay out the dam again and then I can begin digging the keyway and then I can begin making the actual wall itself. Uh, more on that in a bit. Well, I got the keyway dug. This is about what you get for a first time operator with a 50 year old backhoe. In a few hours, four hours maybe. This uh, this will function as a curtain of clay underneath the dam. The dam wall will actually be here and then the back of it there. And this should stop any water from that's flowing underground. We'll hit this wall of clay. I'll put my, I'll put my best material back in this hole, and I will tamp it down with the backhoe, and then drive over it a lot of times with the bulldozer. The material I took out of the hole is not ideal. It's not the greatest stuff. Um, it's got quite a bit of rock in it. So what I'll do with that? is I'll shove it as far to the back of the dam as possible so the front and the center of the dam is made out of the best clay I can find. Um, the next step, what I'm going to do, is I'm probably going to dig this swale because just under the grass in these fields happens to be really good clay. So what I'll do is probably take the, take the topsoil off for the, for the swale and then take the dirt from the swale itself and actually bring it and fill this hole. And then maybe I'll take some of this mound and use it to make my swale mound. It's kind of a backwards way of doing it, but I need the best clay I can find to fit in this hole or else it'll leak. Uh, 
This is about a six foot deep hole. The first pond I dug in the lower field I made with the bulldozer, the keyway with the bulldozer, and I was only able to get maybe three feet deep, maybe not even that in some spots, and it does happen to leak. Um, it doesn't leak through the dam wall itself. It goes under the dam and springs form behind it, actually. Um, it's getting better over time, but it's still only holding about halfway full. I'm hoping to seal it the rest of the way with ducks. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So uh, this is the keyway, and the next step is to fill it with good clay. And then we can begin on actually making the dam wall itself. Enjoy. All right, so here's where we're going to start the construction of the backfill, back flooding swale, um, which is going to feed the pond and in turn be fed by the pond. So the function of it will be to catch all the runoff from this upper field, which will land into this topmost swale. And as the water finds its own level, it will have to spill into the pond um, first. Then as the pond fills all the way up and there's too much water to fill the pond and the swale is completely full, there's going to be a spillway down there that will allow the water to remain at a certain level and it'll be wide enough to handle the flow um, and it'll flow across the field and into this next swale where it will exit into the, into the ditch where the original, the original water was going in the first place and under the road and down to the lower field where there is another big pond and fill it and then the spillway goes off into the lower field which is relatively swampy and wet and after that it goes down and filters into the creek. Um, so I'm going to take the topsoil off here just like just like building a regular swale except for that it's connected into the pond and the other complication here will be as you can see there's got to be a road right here for equipment and that's probably actually where my driveway is going to be for my house that I want to build back in the woods there. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is actually put culverts under here and then the swale, use the swale dirt to actually cover that so you, when you come there'll be a slight rise going over the actual swale ditch and the culverts going under the underneath the driveway will carry the the water from the pond and the water from the swale. So it's a little bit of a complicated earthwork, but with the we got a laser level and machines and if you just take your time and measure twice and dig once, you know, you'll do okay. So that's what we're doing next. 